which bible is the earliest english version printed with the verse verse division the geneva bible where i lacked a political purpose i wrote lifeless books to which of the following authors can be attributed the above admissions george orwell modernism has been described as being concerned with disenchantment of our culture with culture itself who is the critic lionel trilling let me give you one advice one piece of advice if you are preparing for ugc net or yes uh, particularly for ugc net not for uh, uh, tgt and pgt if you are preparing for only tgt and uh, pgt then it's it's okay to go through only works by these uh, writers but if you are preparing for uh, ugc net uh you need to you know select all the writers from this pdf this is a quite good pdf and uh, then you can study like uh, you are uh, you are to uh, go through the works by lionel training and when you talk about the works you can go for basic you know basic knowledge about this work then uh what means the name of the work publication and one thing characteristic what are the main characteristic of the work if that is a novel or the story the character and if that is uh, that is a theory or uh, you know related to criticism go through the its effect its effects on literature if you are doing all these things it will help you in your net exam okay so let's go for another one 83 which one of the following modern poems employs otiva raima among school children john dryden in his heroic tragedy all for love takes the story of shakespeare's antony and cleopatra Samuel Pepys kept his diary from this question is asked so many time 1660 to 1669 the defense of poetry what sydney attribute to poetry you can um, watch a good video on my channel i have talked about this work in detail so search by uh you can search defense of poetry by sydney by caution a moral power whereby poetry encourages the reader to evaluate virtues morals an epistle to dr arbuthnot presents portrait of the following contemporary individuals edison and lord harvey which of these plays by shakespeare does not use cross dressing as a device julius caesar which of the following works cannot be categorized under post colonial theory discipline and punish locke's essay concerning human understanding is a classic element of empiricist power circulates in all direction to and from all social levels at all times who said this michael foucault the dramatic structure of restoration comedies combines in it the features of one and two let's see the elizabethan theater and the new classical theater of italy and france the etymological meaning of the word trope is turning 
Thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch more MCQ videos, you can check out my channel. There are a lot of videos, nearly 50 videos on my channel. Bye-bye, take care, good luck for your exams. Hello everyone, you are most welcome. And now we are going to do some more MCQs. I have already made two videos you can check out and you can practice for your DSSB and UGC net. So let's start. Which of the following is not mentioned in North of Fry's four generic plots? Answer is C, the lyric. Stealing herself to murder, Lady Macbeth calls on to six me there here in Macbeth. Choose the right option to fill in the blank. So your answer is the spirit of the hell. So she says the spirit of the hell to unsex me here. Teach me half of the gladness that thy brain must know. Such harmonious madness from my lips would flow. The world should listen then and as I am listening now, whose lines are these to whom they are addressed? Your answer is P.B. Shelley and he writes these in The Skylark. Which novel of Graham Greene in the following list does not end in some form suicide by the protagonist? So here are the words. Answer is England made me. Who among the following gave a happy ending to King Lear? So as we all know, Nahum Tet is the answer. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice starts with the famous statement, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in position of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Of a life, of a wife, as I think. As we get to read the novel, this statement seems to be made from the point of view. Now, let's see the answer. 1, 2, and 4. The surrounding families, Mrs. Bennet, and the fourth, the women of Jane Austen's Age and Society. That is, as I think, that is wife. Identify the text in the following list which offers a fictionalized survey of English literature from Elizabethan times to 1928. Answer is Virginia Woolf or Lando. This is important work again. Which of the following poems does not begin in the first person pronoun? Keats' Lamina. In the Anatomy of Melancholy, Robert Burton proposes the following two principal kinds. So, which can be the answer? Answer is 1 and 4. Let's see. Love and Religious. So, you can see here again. In the Anatomy of Melancholy, Robert Burton proposes the following two principles. First is love and second is religious. So, now hopefully you... Remember, love and religious. Here for deconstructive, if you don't understand deconstruction, you can check out a video on my channel. You will find out the word deconstru deconstruction. Deconstruction by Kaushik. You can search and hopefully you will get it. Alright, and you will understand what deconstruction is. For deconstructive criticism, critics, how... Human beings read and interpret sign they receive will will determine their modes of knowing and being whether those signs come in the form of literary text or bank statement. Reason the fact of the matter is that human beings use signs to function in the world and are always likely to do so. So your answer both A and R right. Or true R is the correct explanation of a 
in his attack delivered to delivered on the theater in a short view of immortality and profaneness of the english stage jeremy collier especially ryan and which was which were the uh, the two congreve and van bro i richards practical criticism 19 29 inaugurated a new phase in the history of english critical thought what was this book's subtitle a study in literary judgment this is very important book practical criticism 1929 moore's utopia displays a strong influence of Moore's Utopia, two and three. So let's read Plato's Republic and Amerigo. By language transfer is meant. What do you mean by language transfer? The carryover. Answer is B one. The carryover of rules of the mother. tongue syntax phonology and or semantic system or to the second language in question if you don't know what the syntax so syntax are a structure of a language phonology is science of phonemes or you can say so a science of uh, you know sounds and uh, semantic is science of meaning you can remember these three things for better understanding identify the poem that opens with the lines i walk through the long school room questioning a kind old nun in a white hood replies the chil- children learn to cipher and to sing so this is uh, among school children this work is among school children now next one is this following is an exchange between two characters husband and wife in a famous play the lines appear at the very end of an emotionally charged sequence of the last scene i've stopped believing in miracles but i'll believe tell me transform ourselves to the point that that our living together could be a true marriage she goes out down the hall which play and name the character it's a doll's house halma and nora william wordsworth had a deep influence on thomas hardy according to hardy a particular poem by wordsworth was the was his best cure for despair which is that poem the leech gatherer so you can again check out in my video the this uh, you know his all works and uh, their importance their characteristics now next one why are scott's novels are called waverly novels so simply the answer we will see scott started his novel writing career in his Forty third year with the novel Waverly. Who among the following has written the essay, "The Indian Jugglers"? This is by William Hazlitt. Toss, which from which from among the following is not true in nagamandala it does not have multiple narratives virginia wolf borrowed the idea of the common reader from dr johnson to which particular work of johnson's does she remain indebted the lives of the most eminent english poets the essay on hello everyone let's start now some 
more MCQs in English literature. So Yeats selling to Byzantium is about Irish culture, the art and culture of Byzantium in general, Irish revolutionaries and regarding the art of the culture that existed in Byzantium. So D is the answer. Which of the following arrangement is in the correct chron chronological sequence? So, first guard published Woodring Heights, then Willet, North and South, Adam Bead. Now, next one is which of the following statements best applies to Anna Karenina? So, here are your quotes, and your answer is D. 1, 3, and 4. Let's read them. Among her most prominent qualities are her passionate spirit and determination to live life on her own terms. She is a victim of Russian patriarchal system and Anna is deeply devoted to her family and children. Which among the following plays by Aristophanes is an attack on modern education and morals as imparted and taught by the radical intellectuals known as the sophist. So here is your answer A. Clouds. Religious controversies in England, particularly during the 15th century, led to the promotion of A. English prose. Modern English emerged from the East Midland dialect. Blend learning is a mode of instruction or learning in which a variety of instructional modes are integrated. Albert Camus in his essay The Myth of Sisyphus conveys so here you have quotes and your answer is 2, 3, and 4 means B. So, the absurdity of human existence, the futility of all human endeavor, the concept of existentialism. If you don't understand what existentialism is, you can check out my videos. You will find a video explaining existentialism. If you don't existentialism or absurdity, then you can check my videos. Check kar sakte, you will find some explanations. Here you need to pick out the two relevant and correct description of your Anandamurti's sam samskara. So again we have codes and your answer is A. So first 4 and 5 you will say the novel is a satire on representative ideas of a decadent Brahmin society and 5-1 Samskara is a regional novel. In one of her novels, Margaret Atwood demonstrated the potentially cannibalistic nature of human relationship identified the novel, The Edible Women. Who is the protagonist of Shashi Deshpande's That Long Silence? So all we know that Jaya was the protagonist. She was a worthy woman all her life. Husbands of church doors, she had five. In the prologue, Chaucer represents the wife's bath as. So we know. That answer is 1, 2, and 4. So 3 is not there. A witness to masculine operation. No. Uh, bubbling and vitality. It's correct. Outspoken and boastfully licentious. Crude and vulgar. Which of the following works does not have a mad woman as a character in it? The mad woman in the attic. G.M. Hopkins Winhover is dedicated to Christ our Lord. The story and the novel, the idea in the form are 
needle and thread and I never heard of a guild of tailors who recommended the use of the thread without the needle and the needle without the thread. This famous passage describing the relation of idea to form is found in Henry James' The Art of Fiction. Leopold Bloom in Ulysses is a a Jewish advertising agent. The tramp in Pinter's first big hit, the caretaker often travels under an un, an assumed name. It is Bernard Jenkin. Here is a list of early English plays imitating Greek and Latin plays. Pick the odd one out. Tamberlin. Brother to a prince and fellow to a beggar, if he is he be found worthy. This is the epigraph to Rudyard Kipling's The Man Who Would Be the King. At the end of The Great Gatsby, so I have given you the whole story of The Great Gatsby. I have 25 summaries of the important works on my channel. You can find the play uh, playlist as well. So check out the videos and read this story, The Great Gatsby, if you don't know. So, here is the 50th question. At the end of The Great Gatsby, the narrator Nick Carraway observes they were careless people. Who were they? Tom and Dizzy. Identify the incorrect description of sprung rhythm from the following. So, the correct one is first. This rhythm, so remember, always whenever you are reading some options, always read the correct one, correct option already. This rhythm causes ideas to spring in our mind, hence spring rhythm. Now next word, who among the following proposes that the unconscious comes into being only in language? Jack Slarkin. So you can see unconscious comes into being only in language. One English poet addressing another Thy soul was like a star dwelt apart. Thou hast a voice whose sound was like the sea. Pure as the naked heavens, majestic, free. So didst thou travel on life's common way. In cheerful godliness, godliness, whose lines are there to whom they are addressed? William Wordsworth to John Milton. Samuel Johnson's Lives of Poets in 1781 was originally a series of introductions to the poets he wrote for a group of London publishers. They were collected as preface biographical and critical to the works of English poets. So here are the questions for today's videos. Give your opinion about questions and you can share this video to other people too. You can watch my previous videos. I have nearly 40 videos of MCQs on my channel. So watch them. Good luck for exams. Happy learning. Today we are going to do some more MCQs from English literature. The etymological meaning of the word drop is turning. Who among the following English poets define poetic imagination as a repetition of the finite mind of the eternal act of creation in the infinite? I am Coleridge. Little Nell is a character in Dickens. The Old Curiosity Shop. Everything that men 
esteems endures a moment or a day loves pleasure drives his love away in the above quote the last line is an example of paradox the phrase dark satanic mills has become the most famous description force description of the force at the center of the industrial revolution the phrase was used by William Blake five miles meandering with a mazy motion through wood and dale the scared river ran where does the scared river directly run to a lifeless ocean which poem by shelley bears the alternative title the spirit of solitude <clears throat> the uh the answer is alstor which tale in the canterbury tales uses the tradition of the beast fable the nun's priest tale at the end of the sons and lovers paul morel sets off in quest of life away from his mother when you say i love her eyes her hair her nose her cheeks her lips you are using a rhetorical device of enumeration with beckon the essay form is the aphoristic expression of accumulated public wisdom Milton introduces Satan and the fallen angels angels in the book first of Paradise Lost two of the chief devils reappears in book second they are first Moloch and third Belial when Chaucer describes the friar as a noble pillar of order he is using irony if you want my notes on literary terms you can message me on my whatsapp john osborne's look back in anger is an example of kitchen sink drama john suckling belong to the group of cavalier poets for all these short uh, for all these metaphysical poets cavalier neo classical poets and li- religious poets i have made uh, you know videos of of short cuts you can remember all the vo- uh, all the poets related to these schools so check out those videos it will help you so thomas more creates the characters of a character of a traveler into whose mouth the account of utopia is put his name is rafael which one of the british work was tended to lampoon to conventional the conventional sentimental musical but the public lapped up the work sentiment and missed the humor three penny opera The book was for many years banned for obscenity in Britain and United States. The central character is Catholic Jew in Ireland. The author claimed that the book is meant to make you laugh. Which is the book? Ulysses. According to Bhaktin, the idea of carnivalesk represents the following characteristics except a harkening back to the past thank you for watching video good luck for your exams bye take care